Hey you, I'm so glad you're here today. I'm Jenny Prochko from Miles and Indigo, and I make videos about spirituality, goal setting, journaling, mental health and awareness, and my story. Today I'd like to share with you my yearly setup in my bullet journal. This is going to be full of moon phases, journaling prompts, and things to make sure that I'm on track with my goals for the year. So let's get into how I set up a new year in my bullet journal. For the beginning of my bullet journal, I have my wish for 2021, and I set this back on uh, December 21st on the solstice. So my wish for 2021 is going to be written on a bay leaf, and I actually did this in real life and then burned it away and released my wish off into the universe. Uh, my wish for this year is liberation. And this is a uh, personal, goal for me to have liberation in various uh, areas of my life and weight being one of those things like where I liberate the the weight off of myself instead of losing weight. I want to give it a more positive spin. I also want to liberate my anxiety and just like let it melt away. Next, I'm moving on to the key for my bullet journal. I have a dot for tasks, a check mark for done tasks, an X for canceled, an arrow for move or migrate, and three little dots for in progress, a star for important, and a dot with a circle around it for events, purple for Owls and Indigo, and blue for my pocket marketing, which is my other business that I have with my husband. And this is my cover page for the year. I have 2021. I'm using the Crayola Super Tips markers and then also the Uniball Signo gel pen for the gold with two little arrows. And in gold metallic Sharpie, I'm writing, and so we begin once more. And if you like this, I actually have a postcard over in my shop that says, and so it begins. Uh, it was from one of my older bullet journals that I thought you guys would like too. Now I'm creating a Dutch door in my bullet journal. I'm using a lot of Dutch doors for this year. Uh, I really, really like this. I think I saw this in Amanda Rach Lee's video and I was just like, oh, I have to do that too. So I'm creating a Dutch door year ahead spread and this is like a future log in your bullet journal. Right now I'm just cutting out uh, the first one with a little tab and you can see in the other pages, it looks like I have a little notebook within this bigger notebook and I thought that was really cool. Now I'm just using those Crayola Super Tips to color in the tabs for my little mini journal within my journal. And the quote that I'm using on this page is moon of my life, my sun and stars. And then I'm writing year ahead. This is where I'm going to have all of my little mini calendar views, any important dates for that month, and also all of the moon phases. And I have this broken up into season and quarter. So I work a lot in quarters for work and I think a lot in terms of seasonality as well. So I wanted to combine those two this year and you can see here in the winter tab, which is the first quarter of the year. I'm filling in January, the days of the week, and the month. And above that, I'm gonna be creating a moon phase wheel that has all of the moon phase dates for the month. Next, I'm writing in some important dates for the quarter. I have Imbolc, Lupercalia, and the Equinox, which is Ostera. And you'll see what this looks like at the end of the video with it all completely filled out.
This is my goals page. I have a section for my personal goals, spiritual goals, work goals, and my wish for the year. And I'm going to rewrite liberation and I'm recreating that little bay leaf right here on the bottom too. On the right hand side, I have some graph paper that I pasted into my bullet journal that is the perfect size for the three goals that I'm going to be working on this entire year. In each of these little boxes, I will fill in uh, whether or not I accomplish my goal for the day. And I'm really excited about it and to be able to look back on it and to just focus on three things this, this year instead of trying to change my goals every month and work on different things. Just going to focus on three things throughout the year. And on the inside of this flip out, I'm going to be checking in at the end of each month and asking myself, do I feel flexible, satisfied, and happy? And that relates back to my personal goal for the year. Down at the bottom here, I have a section for the books that I want to read for each quarter. This is a pretty simple spread. Uh, this is going to have my values and also the cost of not achieving my dreams. And here I'm gonna write the reason why I want to do this and what will happen if I don't achieve this. Next I have a section for mantras and affirmations. I come across a lot of them throughout reading and just meditating in general and I like to have a collection of them all together. Now I'm just using a gold marker to underline each of these sections. This is the gold metallic uh, Sharpie marker. On this spread, I'm gonna be writing down words to live by. Things like eat the fish and spit out the bones. It was one of my favorite sayings and just one of those concepts that I really want to embody. Next, I have new habits that I've gained where I'll be listing all of the new habits that I've gained throughout the year as I work on my goals. And on the opposite page, I have a section for what worked and what didn't. Because we try a lot of things when we're trying to achieve our goals and I think it's really important to keep a record of what worked and what didn't just so you don't make the same mistakes again. And here I have another little mini notebook inside of my bullet journal, and this is my monthly review. Instead of writing these questions out every single month, which is kind of time consuming and a little irritating, I decided to use, utilize that Dutch doorness again. So the questions that I'm asking myself each month are, how do I feel? What did I learn? What changes did I make? What do I need more of? What am I letting go of and what am I most grateful for? And I have a little page here for each month where I'll be able to go in and write all of my answers and I'll have it all in one place, which I think is going to be a lot better to look back on at the end of the year. I'm just creating a little color in the top corner with the first letter of the month. That way I can easily like see which month is which. This spread is for my wish list and gift list. On the opposite page, I have books to read and another section for other things to consider. So this is for all of those things that people are like, oh, you should totally check this out. And then you totally forget what it is. Now you've got a place to put it.
And this begins my work section in my bullet journal. I have a quote here, work in the life you love. If you're interested in what my work from home bullet journal setup looks like for a content creator, check out my video. I have it linked up above and down below for that setup. I go into my content workflow and all sorts of other little interesting things that help me stay on top of two businesses and not lose my mind. Before we get into the final flip through, I want to share some exciting news with you. My two books, The Daily Tarot Journal, Uncovering the Art of the One Card Tarot Reading, and A Year of Spiritual Growth and Mindful Goal Setting, 365 Mindfulness Journal Prompts is available right now. The link is down below in the description. If you know someone who's into tarot card readings and daily journaling that wants to connect a little deeper to their innermost true self, to their spirit and soul, definitely let them know about these two books. I think that you will love them. I know I do. I've been enjoying using them in my morning journaling practices, and I can't wait to see what your journals look like once you get them too. The link is down below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.